guys, welcome back to my channel. It is already the end of the month. I feel like January always goes by super slow and then February goes by super fast. Those less than three days that we get in February just completely messes me up. So we are already at the end of February and I'm going to be talking about my favorites. I have a couple of favorites that I meant to talk about in January. I'm just going to tack on to the end of this and I have quite a few products to talk about. So let's go ahead and jump in uh, in no particular order, although I am going to start with skincare. I do have a child out of school today who is trying her hardest not to make noise, but I can't promise you're not going to hear a little bit of background noise, but we're going to do our best, right? Yeah. <laughs> Try to. So I am first going to start off talking about the t-shirt that I have on today. This is not going to be new to most of y'all because I know probably 100% of y'all are already subscribed to this person, but this is the beauty and kindness t-shirt that Lisa J brought out when she started this beauty and kindness brand. And I'm going to link where you can get the shirts as well as her YouTube channel where you can find out more information if you happen to not be subscribed to her. But I love the concept of this brand. She is partnering with a nonprofit that goes into schools and teaches kids about how to be kind, which I cannot tell you how important that is. I think nowadays, it is so easy for our kids to get engulfed in electronics and TV and texting instead of talking and just forgetting how to be truly kind people. So I love the concept behind this. I love this t-shirt. It's very, very, very comfortable. For reference, I have the size small and it fits lovely. I love the deep scoop neck without it being a v-neck. It's just I just love everything about what she's doing. So I will link all of that information down below. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with skincare. I have two items that I'm going to talk about. This is one that I meant to talk about in January. And I got this. Um, actually, Brianna sent it to me from Premier Look. Y'all know how much I love her. You know how much I love Premier Look. And you know how much I love this brand. And it is the Truth Treatment Systems Retinol Spot Treatment. So when this first came out, I was kind of like, ah, I don't really need it. I have the retinol gel, which I love, and I'm up to using once a week now. So I don't really think I need it. However, I'm so glad that I got this because it is in a roller ball and it is small because it's a spot treatment. So you're, you're, it's not intended to use all over your face. So what I do is before I do anything else on my face after I cleanse and tone is I take it down my smile lines and a little bit right here where my crow's feet are and just dab it in tiny little bit every night. I use it every night except for the nights that um, I use my retinol gel. Let me see if it says, I don't even know if you're supposed to use it every night. I don't know. I need to check the directions, but it hasn't hurt me so far. And again, I only use it in those two spots. And I genuinely feel like my smile lines look better under makeup than before I started using this. I have no idea if it's just a placebo effect because I know I love the company so much that I just want it to work. I don't know, but that's the way I feel. So I love this product, but this is, I mean, this is my second month using it and it's probably not even halfway gone. So love that. And then the second skincare product that I'm going to talk about is a mask. And I've talked about this company before as well. In fact, I think I've even talked about one of their other masks that I love so much that I'm almost out of, but this is from Leilani, which is a Hawaiian kind of natural skincare company. And this is the mermaid mask, superfood for your skin. So it looks like this and it comes, it's like super dark. If you can see dark green. Um, so the first ingredient is raw honey. It's got, the second ingredient is spirulina extract, which is what makes it this really green. It's a very um, high intense, like superfood ingredient. It does have kaolin clay. So if you are not um, someone who can use that, you're probably going to want to steer clear of this. And then it's just a huge list of like microalgae extract, uh, chamomile flower oil. It does have bee balm, so it's not vegan. Ro Rosa, Palma Rosa herb oil. Lavender flower, Lang Lang, which I love Lang Lang oil. Lotus white flower extract. It smells so good. It's got vanilla bean extract in it. So I've used this probably seven or eight times. You can see not a ton is out of there. So it's going to last me a really long time. But I just take a spatula, scoop some out, 
and then I put a little bit of water to emulsify it in my hands. I spread it all over my face. It smells lovely. And I don't know, I feel like my face just looks healthier after I use this. It definitely feels better. And I don't even know if I can explain any more than that other than the experience of using the mask is just divine. So I have been absolutely loving this. I feel like I've been using this one more than any other mask probably twice a week for the past month. Love, love, love that. So if you haven't noticed, this is basically the same exact look that I wore in my Cure Wise foundation routine video. I had so many people comment about how they loved the overall look. And it is things that I had planned on talking about in my favorites video anyhow. And it's because I've been using them almost every day. In fact, the highlighter I'm gonna talk about, I believe I counted three days in February that I did not wear this highlighter. So let's go ahead and talk about that first. This is the Jane Iredell. It's actually an eyeshadow. It's in the color Allure. This is not the first time I've talked about this. It's probably like the fourth time I've talked about this. That's how much I love it. This is actually, I, this was sent to me, so it's one of their kind of testers. When you order it alone, it's in a just a single eyeshadow compact, but I cannot believe I have not hit pan on this. This is the color right here. I have this both on my eyes and on my cheeks today. As a highlighter, I have been using it nonstop. I absolutely cannot rave enough about the beautifulness of this on the cheeks because it has absolutely no shimmer in it. It's got a, like, I don't even know. Look, don't even. I cannot get rid of this line to save my life. I have scrubbed it. I have done everything. I wash my hands like 80 times a day. It's not coming off. So let's just ignore that other than me just pointing it out. And look at this gorgeous highlighter. It's so natural. It never will emphasize any kind of texture or anything because it's a satin finish. There is absolutely, it's not even metallic. It's just so pretty. I feel the most comfortable in this highlighter because I don't feel like I ever look like I have a stripe of shine on my cheeks. It's just absolutely glorious. So I have been using this on my cheeks as well as on my eyes. I do have it on my eyes today. I had it on my eyes in the Cure Weiss video and I had this under it. I think I had this under it in the Cure Weiss video. I know I have it today and that I've had it so many other days during the month. But this is one of the rediscovered favorite. I pulled it out of my drawer. This was sent, this was sent to me like months ago by CoverGirl and it's the Vitalist Healthy Glow highlighter. I know I talked about these in one of my favorites videos not long after I received them and I talked about how I did not use them as a highlighter but I use them on my eyes. Still do and this one I, I got out after not using it for a couple months and holy cow I cannot stop. If you can see the huge dent in it. This is a cream product and this is in the color 3 which when you go on Ulta they don't have it listed as numbers. They have li it listed as names. And this one only has a number on it. doesn't have a name. So if I'm, if I'm thinking correctly, this is the color medium, but it's the one that's got like a slight pinkish hue to it. So what I've been doing is I've been just dipping my finger into this. Oh, it's so pretty. You can see it right there. And then I will apply this to my lid. That's it right there. And then I will top it with that Allure shadow and this is what you get. Now I do have a regular, you know, uh, I think a Makeup Geek Latte in my crease today. What I've been doing though, most of the time is using whatever bronzer I have on in my crease and that will be the extent of my eyeshadow look and it's absolutely perfect. I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with this makeup look as or this eye look. I have, I would say probably 20 to 22 days out of this month. I'm a type A, so I'm, I'm really like thrive on knowing the exact number of things. I would venture to say that's about how many times I've worn this eye look this month. It's simple, it's fast, no thought about it, very minimal product because I've already got this for my highlighter. So especially when I travel, cause I'm going out of town next week, I'll be taking these two and that's it for my eyes. I don't need anything else. Very minimal. Love it. So as far as blushes, I have also rediscovered this blush and have been using it almost all the time. In that Cure Weiss video, I had on another blush from this same company, 
but this one is the one that I've been using the most and it's Jane Iredell blushes. Can y'all tell I've just fallen head over heels in love with her makeup again and I purchased a few new things that I'll probably end up be talking about in next month's favorites but I need to use them a little bit longer. This one I've had for quite a while. I just pulled it out and started using it again but this is the color Mocha and it's just a very pretty neutral kind of rose colored blush and it doesn't have any shimmer. It's completely matte. It's what I have on my cheeks today. This would also honestly be very pretty in the crease of the eye with this eye look. But you can see I've had like, that's it right there. I've had a theme going on with my undertones. I've been really liking the cool pinkish undertones for my look lately. And this blush is absolutely perfect. It lasts a really long time, goes on really well. It doesn't buff away when I use my finishing powder. Love, love, love Jane Iredell blushes. And if you missed my Instagram stories or don't follow me there, Jane Iredell is now on Ulta. Now their entire line isn't, but the day that I got that email, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Now I can use my points on Jane Iredell. I'm so excited. But a lot of their key products are on Ulta and I believe this blush is as well. I will be linking it down below if I can find it, but very, very, very good blush. I told you I have a lot of products. I just do. This one is the bronzer I have on today. I just got this probably three, no, like two weeks ago. And if I am gonna be honest, it's not my first choice off the website. I really wanted the other bronzer from this brand. This is from Pure and I got it from Ulta and I wanted their, I don't even know what it's called, like a, some mineral bronzer and I wanted it in a, they have light and dark and whichever one I wanted, they, they were out of stock. So I went ahead and got this one, even though I wasn't quite sure how it was supposed to be used. And it is called Mineral Glow, but I don't feel like it says Illuminating Bronzer on Ulta. I need to see. But it is, according to the back, an Illuminating Bronzer. And this is the color right here. It looks very dark and a little bit scary when you first open it. In fact, it does not look anything like this on the Ulta website, which is pretty par for the course with Ulta. I've talked about that before. But this is so pretty. It even looks a little dark and scary there. Love this convoluted swatch I did, but this is it right here. It is an illuminating bronzer, but it does not have any discernible shimmer in it when you swatch it. And it surely does not come across on the face as a shimmery bronzer. It just leaves the most healthy looking, gorgeous, sun-kissed look to your face. You can overdo it, but it's gonna be hard to because even though it's super dark in the pan and when you swatch, I feel like it builds up very nicely and it starts out pretty sheer. So I can't rave enough, but I'm so glad that I got this instead of the other one. The other one might be absolutely amazing, but I'm definitely happy with this purchase and I just can't rave enough about how it looks on the face. So again, if you want something, they only have one shade in this. So I don't necessarily think it's universal, but if you have anywhere from like light to medium tan skin, I think that this would work for you great. And it's perfect for the upcoming spring and summer because it just gives that bronzed, sun-kissed look to the face. This is the concealer I am wearing today. This is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. And a couple of y'all messaged me the day this launched on Sephora and said, have you seen this? Oh my goodness. Have you seen, I know how much you love the foundation, the True Skin Serum Foundation. Have you seen this? And I'm like, girls, I already purchased it. I am on it because I love this brand. I love that foundation. And now I love this concealer. It's actually what I have on my eyes today. It, for some reason, does not have the best reviews on Sephora. And I think the main reason it doesn't is because of the color... I'm not even going to say selection, although I don't think it's a huge selection, but it's the fact that the colors do run dark. For instance, this is the color Yucca SC2, and I would think this is what like a number four or five would be, honestly. I can't tell you, I bought it online, can't tell you what number one looks like, but that's number two right there. So this is the second lightest shade. It's what I have on my under my eyes today again. 
So you would think that, yeah, they probably do run a little dark. So keep that in mind if you want to try them out. If you're super fair in porcelain, again, I can't say what the number one looks like, but the majority of the negative comments on Sephora are due to how they do tend to run dark. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, this is so creamy without being thick and too emollient. It really is just creamy. Like I can't think of another word to describe it because from the doe foot when you put it on it just literally glides over your skin it blends in so well with a brush or a sponge i've used both and it just has that perfect like medium coverage that i really like i color correct anyways so other than my l'oreal infallible full wear i'm not a huge fan of full full coverage concealers like shape tape i feel like it's too full coverage for me so this is the perfect medium coverage. It looks really natural, wears really well all day, especially when I set it with a powder I'm gonna talk about. It just is really nice. So if you are in the market for a new concealer, I know there's a lot of concealers that have been coming out. I did order the Armani one. It has not come in yet, but I have heard nothing but great things about that. So I will keep y'all updated on that as well. But this one, I am not mad about purchasing. And my only fail this month is another concealer. So. I'm glad this one worked out. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, this is another product that CoverGirl sent to me and I talked about this in my Ulta haul, but y'all, I cannot rave enough about this. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is so flipping good. I, it has to be my new favorite drugstore mascara. Like I have been choosing it over a lot of my other mascaras this month. This is the wand, it's a, it's a pretty, that's a bigger hourglass shaped wand. It's not plastic bristles, so it's not gonna hurt or poke, but oh, I have it on my eyelashes today. It just, it coats them so evenly. I never worry about it not covering my lash primer that I use. And I, I don't know, it's just, I flipping love this mascara and there's not that much that you can say about a mascara, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. If you are looking for a new mascara, you wanna try something different, but you don't wanna break the bank, this is as good as any of the high-end mascaras that I've tried. I put it out there and I mean it, it is as good. If you watched my top non-powdery powders, you knew, you probably know that I am going to talk about this one. And this is the Flower Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I am not going to talk too much about it because I talk about it in that video, but it just says it's a miracle worker. It sets your makeup with a veil of subtle radiance, absorbs oil and smooth skin with a soft focus effect, micro pearl pigments diffuse light for an ambient glow, providing the ultimate finishing touch to your makeup. Yes, 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 and yes. I agree with all of that. I said in that other powder video, this is the closest dupe I have been able to find for the original La Mer powder. I love it under my eyes. I sat with it under my eyes yesterday and I was amazed at how well it did. And so I did it again today over the Ilia. I have it on over my foundation. I love this powder so much. Now at the time that I'm filming this, it is still currently on sale at Ulta for like $7.69, which you can't get better than that. Although how much is in here? 0.28 ounces. So it's not a huge amount of product, but 750. I mean, you can't beat that, but I'm so in love with it that I went on and bought two extra backups. Who does that with powder, especially when you already have a drawer full of powder, but that's how much I love this powder. I don't want to run out. I'm going to decan it, put it in a smaller thing. I'm going to put it in my kit. I don't care that it's drugstore. I don't care that it's 750. It works. It performs. It looks so good on the skin. I mean, really and truly, I have it on over the Cure Wise foundation today. Oh, so good. Love, love, love. Can't speak enough. I know a lot of y'all said that you went ahead and ordered this and I can only pray that you love it as much as I do. But the wonderful thing is, is that if you don't, it's $7.50. Gotta love it. Okay, the fail that I have this month, unfortunately, is also from Flower. And it is their Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. Y'all, this just did not like my under eyes. I don't know why, I don't know what it was, but it was kind of like that 100% pure concealer that I put in, was it last month or the month before, that fails. It just made me look like I was 20 years older than I am under my eyes, gave me more wrinkles than I 
even thought that I had, cracked and crinkled and just did not look good at all. Like I was embarrassed to be out. When I looked in my rearview mirror, I was like, holy cow, I almost just wanted to rub it off with my fingers and just have black circles with a full face of makeup. That's how bad it was. I didn't, but I wanted to. So unfortunately, this one did not work out for me. Uh, it doesn't have the best reviews on Ulta either, but then I see people rave about it on YouTube. So it's kind of iffy. Again, it's drugstore, so it's not going to break the bank if you don't like it, and you can send it back to Ulta, but it just wasn't the best. Okay, I'm going to talk about two things that I forgot to talk about last month, and they are one's a YouTuber and one's a TV show. If you've made it this far, bless you. Love you. So let's talk about the YouTuber. I totally meant to talk about her last month, but her name is Grace, and she is, but her name is Grace, and her YouTube channel is Everyday Edit XO. I will put it down here. I will link it down in the description box. I don't know how I didn't find her. I'm pretty sure Stephanie Marie has talked about her before, but I must have missed that video. And she popped up like in my recommended speed in December, I think. And I watched one of her videos and I think it might've been her like yearly favorites. And I was like, holy cow, like 75% of what she just talked about has been in my favorites before. I love all those products. She's so flipping gorgeous, y'all. And she's got like, her voice is so calming. She's one of those people, like, I don't, I don't even know if she has kids, but I would venture to say that even if she doesn't, or even if she did, I don't see how it would be physically possible for her to raise her voice at them or anything. Like she's got that kind of like really calming voice. Again, she's absolutely gorgeous. Love her makeup style. Just love her in general. She, the only thing I don't like about her is that she doesn't post enough for me. Like she only posts once a week and if it were up to me, she would do like three or four videos a week. But I understand this is time consuming and life happens. But if you have not checked her out, please do so. I will put all of her information down below. Tell her that you came from my channel and give her some love because she is so, so sweet and so, so good. All right, and finally, the TV show that I wanna talk about. I was sleeping on this because it has four seasons and it's about to come out with its fifth one at the end of March. And I don't know how I missed it, but I was going through like recommended Netflix and it came up and I started watching it and I got instantly hooked. And again, I've been sleeping on this, so y'all probably all have heard of it or watched it. But if you haven't, it's called Jane the Virgin and it's flipping hilarious. Like I needed a break from the serious shows. I needed just some comic relief and it gave me comic relief. So basically what it is without spoiling anything, it's a an hour show and it's kind of a sp spin off on a uh, telenova. And it's based on Jane who is the middle, actually no, the lowest generation. So it's her grandmother, her mom and her that live in the same house, have grown up all together. And she's a virgin, she's 23 years old and she goes into a routine like pap smear appointment and accidentally gets artificially inseminated. It is, <laughs> I'm telling you it's so funny and I will say if you have watched it, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't, or if you haven't and you decide to, Rogelio, Rogelio is my favorite character of any TV show ever, hands down, period, end of story. I love him so much. There is not a single scene that he did in that show where I was not like belly laughing. He, I believe, has won quite a few awards and he deserves even more. He's so phenomenal. If nothing else, just watch the show for him because it's he's absolutely hilarious. So anyways, it's four seasons. That, I mean, they're long seasons. There's like 22 episodes in each season. And it took me about three months, but I am done with all of them. And I am on a Netflix freeze. I have no idea what to watch next. So please, please, please tell me something to watch down in the description bar below because I, it's like writer's block, but with Netflix. Like I just can't find anything that piques my interest. So if you have any recommendations and you actually made it to the end of this 30 minute long video, <laughs> please let me know down in the comment section below. But that is actually gonna be it. I know this was like very product heavy, but these truly were my favorites and I used them on constant rotation to where I barely picked up anything else this month. So hopefully you enjoyed it um, along with your Netflix recommendation or Amazon Prime, either one. 
Let me know what your favorite product was in the month of February. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.